<laughs> you didn't see me, did you? Morning. They were so busy eating, neither one of them saw me arrive. Right, we've decided. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning, by the way. Now that Maggie is splinted, we're just going to let them out because autumn's getting a bit stiff being in there and it's not fair on her. Come on then. And Maggie's getting fed up. So we're just going to let them out. Let's have a look how you're walking. So she's got this big splint on her foot now, which is holding it straight. She's still not weight bearing very well. But it's the best we can do, isn't it, my love? Absolutely the best we can do under the circumstances. Don't you get yourself too grubby. You've got an engage an engagement. I can't say that word. An engage an engagement tomorrow with Santa. So try and keep yourself clean, love, out of the mud, yeah? <laughs> Everyone's very worried about you, Maggie. They all are. They're very worried. They want you to get better. Do you like some of this? It's definitely going to take a while for these girls to become less worried about us. Please do not fall over and hurt yourself. You girls in the cupboard? Are you in the cupboard? What are you doing in the cupboard? Huh? <laughs> There's two new girls in here. Doing very well, Maggie. <laughs> Lee and I have come to Wickham Christmas shopping. Well, that's pretty. Look at the stars down there. Little bits of detail I've never seen before because I've never really walked this way before.
No. Candles just smell nice, not like a leftover dinner. Well, that one's not too bad. That's a sweet thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's quite nice. Well, it never rains, but it pours. So she's still strapped up and it still looks tight and what have you. And she's hobbling around on it. But if you can see, she's still not putting it flat. We're going to take all of this out and put shavings down now because that might be less of a hindrance. But she's been walking around outside because it just seems cruel to keep her in. Um, and yeah, not helping. But then Autumn's same side of, same back leg, um, she's limping on it. She's not yet dragging it, but she's limping on it. So, don't know what to do really. Don't know what to do. Right, let's sweep this out and put wood chip down. Here comes the backup companion animal. Oh look, it's an animal that's not limping. Hi Blossom. Don't acquire a limp while you're here, please. It's becoming a joke. She's still. Yes. Oh dear. Hi Blossom. Well, the horses seem to be making friends. Uh, we've we've worked out the Maggie's thing has slipped, um, so we're going to reset it. She can't actually straighten the foot because of the position it's in, so that's not helping. I know, sweetie, we're gonna sort that out, aren't we? Um, I'm gonna split these and put these down on the floor. Emma's gone to get more cable ties and a pair of scissors. Well, that'll do. It's, um, it's not gonna be so thick underfoot. Might not get caught up quite so much. You seem to be walking a bit better. Touch wood. I know Emma did touch your foot, but you're actually putting it down flat now. So I don't know what Emma did. No, you are limping still. Blossom, don't ignore me. Blossom. Did you not get the memo that you have a very important date tomorrow and rolling in this is not appropriate behaviour? You did get the memo. <laughs> You're just being downright stubborn then, aren't you? Yes. It's definitely the way, isn't it? Mm, absolutely. So which one is it there that you were stroking, Pip? Oh, you filming? Uh, this one is Hope. And the feisty, lively, slightly pun? Is Pearl. Pearl. I'm trying to be really calm and quiet. <laughs> She's definitely more quiet. We, um, Pip loved the name Myrtle. Um, but I think, well, personally, I think Myrtle will be quite cute for, um, for a proper little pet one that we hope that we might get some orphans in the summer. Um, last spring, but um, hope for obvious reasons because what we're hoping to achieve is hope. And um, Pearl, I can't remember particularly what was. Um, we were going for a white gemstone, weren't we? White gemstone. Um, but it. Prosperity. I think so, yeah, calming and prosperity. <laughs> for the flighty one. <laughs> She's got the fringe, hasn't she? Yeah, she's tempted. She's tempted. See, this is where Pip's in her element and I struggle a little, is that Pip's got a much calmer energy than what I do and a lot more patient. Kenzie's really good at this. Well, it that... be a lot of not making eye contact.
So I've had a bit of a tidy up in here. I have kind of decobwebbed a bit up there so I could get the bean bag up there. Less chance of rats gnawing on it, I guess. Um, we have a broken box. Well, Emma ordered a bunch of these boxes from Amazon and one of them arrived all broken. Um, so let's have the whole lot for free. Um, so the broken one, which is all cracked at the bottom, we've just thrown up, the, I've thrown up the top there with some tools in it, Emma's giant cable ties, and the first aid kit I think is up there as well. Um, this is all turnout coats, whole tees, um, lead reins, that kind of thing. Emma's brought up a toaster, um, just in case, and I've put cups upside down because if rats decide to walk up there, they're not actually on the clean bit. Um, this is all cleaning products for the sheep to make them beautiful. Uh, this is all decorative things. Let me show you some of this. So we've got loads of tinsel tat and sparkly bits for the Santa event tomorrow. Hats, bits to stick on the horns, Christmas lead reins, that kind of stuff. Um, and then these are because on Sunday, Emma's niece, Emily, um, is coming to have a little bit of a birthday thing. And she's going to decorate the pony's mane and she's going to decorate the girls with little clips and just, you know, give them a bit of attention. And uh, yeah, so I picked up some bits from Claire's accessories. These little things are pet, these go on leads, but I thought I could put them over the horns so that people will see the horns when we go out tomorrow with Autumn. Um, she seems a lot better on her foot. Uh, Emma moved a little bit of loose hoof, and that seemed to do the trick. Um, medical stuff for the animals. These are, well, they'd probably make very good splints, we decided. Um, they're actually weightlifting bar pads for people who do weightlifting. But we thought we could cut them down if need be to use on horns. Um, I've put all the drinks upside down for the very same rat reason. Ideally, I need another box to put them all in, but I've put them there for now. And this is a box of stuff for the kids when they come up. So they've just got some distraction, like remote control car and stuff. Uh, we have snacks in here. We have tools and bits, scissors, string, that kind of thing in there. We've got another first aid kit in there, bin bags. And under there, put the Jay's fluid. That is sheep treats in there. So it's like their ginger nut biscuits that don't get very often. Um, what else have we got in there? Oh, some horse treats, actually, that are okay for sheep. These are their feed buckets and the bucket to take to refill waters. Uh, this is our spade. Uh, that's our Jay's fluid cleaning spray thing when we disinfect stables. So I've just popped those there. And that's our food bin. Brand new thing of food in there. We need to bleach the sink out. That works. That's our trough. We wonder if that's how Maggie hurt her foot originally, stepping in the trough. So that's why we removed it and we used plastic buckets. Sort of plastic rubbery. Not, not these, but like this. But a thicker plastic, a thicker rubber. Um, those ones out there, the horse ones, see those out there, we use those to put hay in now. Um, and we remove the feed feeding bowls the minute they've eaten. In fact, there's still a feed bowl in with the girls, not Maggie and Autumn. There's still a feed bowl in with these two. Hey girls, just coming to get the feed bowl. Thank you. It's very dark in here and the light doesn't work in this one. See you later. They're getting better. I did stroke both of them and I spent quite a while stroking Hope while she was eating. I've also stuck some hooks on the door so we can hang our stuff up. It's actually very mild up here. Tomorrow it's meant to be 11 degrees and it's been about six today. Anyway, it's getting dark. As you can see, it's very dark out there now. It's gone four o'clock. Uh, Ken's has got his friend over to stay after school where he's meant to be. Lee went to pick him up earlier. Um, they probably think I move, have moved out or something. They probably think I've vanished. But it's been quite cathartic because I feel like I've been catastrophizing a little bit over the whole sheep situation. Um, 
you know, it's when you're trying to do something really positive and you just seem to be thwarted by problems and and you love the girls very much and they're poorly. Although Autumn, like I said, seems to be limping less now, so she should still be able to do her date with Santa. I've actually just seen Rob's mum who's driven past and it's her pony we're borrowing and she said to me, look, any time. It's really nice, you know, she makes people smile. It'd be really nice if she could do more stuff with you. So I'm really grateful. I thanked her profusely and um, yeah, hopefully we'll see a bit more of Blossom. She is adorable. Um, but yes, I'm going to stop saying um and I'm going to go home and I was going to have something to eat but I've just had two biscuits so now I'm not actually very hungry. Um, I might just relax. I might have a quick shower and put some pyjamas on. I know Kenzie's got his friend over but I think I can get away with a, a shower and some lounge wear as pyjamas rather than, you know, anything else. Oh, and this milk's on the turn. It was a bit too creamy so I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> 